Welcome back guys, how you all doing? My name is Marks and this is Daybound episode 12. Alright, so as you might be able to tell, uh, a little bit has happened between episodes with the path from spawn mostly being finished. Uh, by the time you've seen this, it probably will be finished as I've only just got a little bit left to do up over the hill here. Uh, and this is because we have 10-ish new people coming in and joining us here on the Daybound SMP, uh, which is going to be fantastic. Can't wait to get all them on the server and uh, it just to be a little bit more active and, and just have a few more people to... Oh, hi, Mr. B. Uh, a few more people just to get up some shenanigans with and whatnot. But I think this path is looking fantastic. Uh, obviously, I've got my resource back on, which makes the dark oak leaves look, well, darker. And you get these little bush berries in them, which uh, honestly, I, I really just prefer. They look so much better. Um, but it's not the only thing we've been getting up to off camera. So I have been telling you guys for the last two episodes that I have been working on a project or I'm in the process of working on a project. Weird. Um, and we, we've... Um, We've had to do a lot of collecting for that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to quickly cut to a time lapse. Oh, yeah, I did all these cliffs as well. You know, the, uh, another thing off camera. Um, I, I figured it'd be pretty boring to watch me texture all, well, most of the cliff faces in Daybon Village. I've, I've missed a few, uh, mainly the big chunks, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah, we'll jump to a time lapse now. And um, it's basically the... <laughs> the three farms I had to build for this giant project that we are going to be building today that I pretty much started um, about a month ago and um, yeah, I've only just about half done it and you'll, uh, you'll see why in a minute. So I'll see you after this time lapse. Two tree farms and a concrete maker is what you saw in that time lapse there. And if you hadn't figured it out from the thumbnail, this right here is uh, what took so long. So this is a 96 by 96 radius circle. Um, and then it's like 20 high or something in this dome shape. Uh, so most of this was filled in. And I only got three pieces of ancient debris from this, which sucks. No, Mr. Pig, go away. Um, yeah, this took a while. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was like 200,000 blocks or something like that, uh, more or less. Um, yeah, not fun. So this is the project I was on about. This right here is going to be our uh, I say central hub, it's going to be centered on, rather than on spawn where Dibar Village is. Where's that ghast? Nowhere. Um, that must be over there somewhere, that's fine. Uh, it's going to be centered on the shopping district. So we've got um, 
basically this big area and they're gonna be, have to be like tunnels going off in in the cardinal directions and probably even um, in some of the offshot cardinal directions as well just to make sure that everyone's base is covered and other biomes are covered because when we go to 118 we're trimming most of the chunks down like a lot of what's loaded is going to get trimmed off um and we yeah all the terrain and everything changes massively and in in all honesty it's totally worth um doing it because it's so different and it looks so good uh, so yeah we'll we'll be expanding expanding our border from to 4200 uh, by 4200 to like a couple hundred thousand or something like that and um yeah this is going to be like the central hub of it all uh, we're still hopefully going to be staying pretty close and we're loosely sticking to the, the villager storyline that we started it's going to change a little bit with uh, the new people coming in but it'll also be the same uh, but yeah honestly i can't wait it's going to be really good but i've talked about this enough now it's about time you see it so we're going to jump into another time lapse and get this thing built up. So I will see you guys once this monstrosity has been filled in with what I have planned for this area. So I'll see you guys very soon. Right, so just down the stairs behind me here is the finished nether hub. Now there was a few big cuts there uh, between me doing the rest of the walls, doing the rest of the pillars, because it was kind of boring and I didn't think you needed to see the same thing for the length of time it was. But I think it's time that we have a look at this. Oh my days. This is the first time I've seen it in shaders. Oh wow. This is something else. What's that there? Oh, random piece of netherrack. Must have left it up. Um, this is incredible. That gap there is intentional because I don't have a tunnel of that way or diagonally to my industrial bit yet but that aside I am gobsmacked as to how well this turned out they should be down but wow let me get let me know what you think guys oh and I love the effect of, of the floor now one thing you can't see um is how this actually looks so it's a big sun uh the daybound logo being kind of a sun because daybound um but that's where the whole idea for this initially came from and then everything else sprouted off it in the creative world but oh my 
just this in in shaders is incredible i love it and we've got the cardinal directions so so you can jump off in different ways as a as i think i've mentioned before but speaking of daybound i need to head to daybound village because i need to go and vote uh, i've not done it yet so let's head over to daybound village and vote on the book writing competition which was like two months ago now i think um and it, it just keeps getting extended so we're gonna head over there throw our vote in and hopefully all will be good so i'll see you guys over there here we are back in daybound village and i noticed as soon as i came through the portal this bamboozle yeah I, I, I have no idea. I, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see anything. What the? That is. What's happened to my balloon? What? It's, it's the house as what? What? Does that? Was this bunny? The bun bunny's cleared hers up, and she's been bamboozled too. I am now free from the meal. I was on the other day, and I saw Skippy doing stuff with yellow wool. Is this Skippy? What the heck? I am not entirely sure how my house would look. Got the measles. Really, the nether wall. Means I've got to clear those bits up and replace them again. Thank you very much. What the heck, man? How's my house got measles? Like. I mean, that makes sense. It's got red splotchy bits all over it. How's... It's stone. How's it got the measles? It just doesn't make sense. You can only think that, like, someone's infected. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to go inside. I'm scared. I've been bamboozled. No. Why can I hear? What have they done? Not Shin and Charlotte, what's happened? Okay, okay, they, they've turned my villagers into witches. They've killed my villagers. Sorry, Shin, but you died when you became a witch. Sorry. Charlotte. I'll say hello to in a second. I'm sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> oh, I've had to kill Shin and Charlotte. They were the only resident villagers in this city. I'll say hello, there we go. Oh, no. What's he done? Oh, this means war. Skippy, you've got yourself involved in something you weren't involved in. Why? And you killed my villagers. And ruined my house. Okay, I'm gonna have to get Skippy back for this. The, this is, I'm gonna have to think of a good way of doing it. The, he, he killed villagers. He's killed the residents of Daybound Village. It's. Um, He's officially more of a murderer than I am. Oh dear, Skippy. Right, I'll clean up in a minute. Um, but yeah, the reason I came back is because this thing, which I'm kind of reluctant to do now. Um, but I need to vote on 
the writing competition. I've <laughs> still got all the stuff from uh, the Nether in my inventory. So yeah, let's uh, get our vote in. And away it goes in this thing here. So I'm not going to tell you who I voted for. Uh, we've got five entries. And yeah, that's um, that's all done. Right, um, okay then, so I guess uh, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. Three tree, two tree farms, concrete farm, and a nether hub, all in one episode. Very time-lapse heavy, I do apologise for that. But if you've made it this far, thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.